Hetheffer's I. Hetheffer's I was a queen of Egypt during the Fourth Dynasty of Egypt c. 2600 BC. Biography Hetheffer's I may have been a wife of Pharaoh Sneferu and the mother of King Khufu. It is possible that Hetheffer's was only a minor wife of Sneferu and only rose in prominence after her son ascended the throne. She was the grandmother of kings Jennifer and Khafer, and Queen Hetheffer's Roman II. Our titles include King's Mother M.W.T. Nisset, Mother of the King of the Two Lands M.W.T. Nisset Beatty, Attendant of Horus H.T.H.R.W., God's Daughter of His Body Esfrit and T.R.N.T.H.T.F. Hetheffer's eyes marriage to Snefru solidified his rise to the throne. Two great lines were joined when they married, as she had carried the blood royal from one dynasty to the next. Our title as daughter to the god began when her father, Huni, ruled and continued when she married Snefru and gave birth to the next ruler, Khufu, who is the one who commissioned her tomb and pyramid. Discovery of the Tomb Starting in 1902, a joint expedition of Harvard University and the Boston Museum of Fine Arts took over the excavation of Giza. For 23 years, they methodically cleared and documented the area. On the 9th of March, 1925, while the leader of the expedition, George Reisner, was back in the U.S., the staff photographer noticed a patch of plaster where he was expecting limestone. Under the direction of Ahmed said, Reisner's head rise, they cleared the area and removed the plaster, revealing a deep shaft. They dug down 85 feet before reaching a masonry wall which, when penetrated, revealed a jumble of grave goods including a white alabaster sarcophagus, gold encased rods used to frame a canopy or tent, gold wood furniture, and more. Using binoculars and mirrors, Batiscoon Gun identified an inscription identifying Sneferu. But this, contrary to newspaper reports at the time, only meant that the owner of the tomb had lived during the reign of Sneferu. Reisner concluded that this represented a secret reburial, possibly because robbers had gotten into the original tomb. By April, he had identified the owner of the tomb as Hetifer's wife of Sneferu and mother of Khufu. In 1927, they gathered to open the sarcophagus only to find that it was empty. Reisner conjectured that Hedifers had been originally buried near her husband's pyramid in Dasher, but the tomb was broken into shortly after her burial. He thought the robbers had opened the sarcophagus, stolen the mummy with all its gold trappings, but had fled before taking the rest of the treasures. Reisner proposed that the officials responsible for the tomb, in order to avoid his wrath, told Khufu that the mummy was still safely inside the sarcophagus. Khufu then ordered the sarcophagus and all the funerary equipment were buried at Giza, near his own pyramid. The exact sequence of events is still a mystery, however. Dr. Mark Lehner has suggested that G7000X was Hetifer's original tomb and that her second tomb was the Pyramid Gon A. He conjectured that the mummy of the queen was removed from G7000X when the pyramid was completed, and that some of the grave goods were left behind when the queen was reburied. A third possibility, outlined by I.E. S. Edwards in his review of Lehner's theory, is that G7000X was meant to be Hetifer's final resting place, and that the mummy was robbed from that structure shortly after her burial. It may be possible that a superstructure in the form of a pyramid was planned for shaft G7000X. Doctor and ex doctor. Sahai Hawass has suggested that Hedifers was originally buried at Gan A, the northernmost of the small pyramids, and that after the robbery a new shaft was excavated for a new tomb. This would explain the evidence of tampering on the tomb objects. Grave treasures. Hetifer's sarcophagus and funerary furniture were discovered in 1925 near the satellite pyramids of the Great Pyramid of Giza in shaft G7000X of a pit tomb. Although the sarcophagus was sealed and the canopic chest were intact, Hetifer's mummy was missing. The chest, a large square box with four smaller square compartments inside, is one of the oldest examples known, so it has been suggested that Hetefers may have been one of the first Egyptian royals to have her organs preserved. 
Of the four interior squares all contained organic matter, but two of the squares also contained liquid. Ensuing test revealed the liquid to be a 3% solution of Egyptian natron in water, which was used in the mummification process. The contents of the tomb provide us with many details of the luxury and ways of life of the fourth dynasty of Egypt. The items found in the tomb are on display at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, with replicas of the main funerary furnishings in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, Massachusetts. The funeral furniture in G7000X included the following items. Bed canopy inscribed, gold covered presented by Snefru, in Cairo Museum Ent. 57,711 restored. Bed with inlaid footboard gold covered, in Cairo Museum Ent. 53,261 restored. Curtain box inscribed gold covered, faience inlaid, presented by Snefru, with king seated on north end and names and wing disc on south end, in Cairo Museum Ent. 72,030 restored. Armchair with papyrus flower decoration, gold covered, in Cairo Museum Ent. 53,263 restored. Armchair with inlays of neath standards on both faces of back, with hawk standing on palm column on arms wood perished, gold covered, in Cairo Museum recreated 2016. Gold fragments with deceased seated smelling lotus, probably from lid of small box, in Cairo Museum. Palanquins inscribed on back gold covered in Cairo Museum Ent. 52,372 restored. Remains of tubular leather case containing two long staves covered with gold ribbed casing and wooden stick with inlaid mint emblem decoration in Cairo Museum. 89,619 NB. 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 Chest with inlaid lid with text and mint emblem decoration gold covered in Cairo Museum. The chest contained a box with eight alabaster ointment jars inscribed in stand and copper toilet spoon a box inscribed gold covered containing silver bracelets with butterfly design and a headrest wood covered with gold and silver uninscribed. Sarcophagus alabaster. Canopic box alabaster. Literature. Wolfram Gradetsky. Ancient Egyptian Queens, a hieroglyphic dictionary, 